Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris and I am your host. When we went to a uh, break, I was uh, talking about the death penalty and I think uh, uh, Terry gave a good explanation of how he would handle that situation. But now I want to get more specific in terms of uh, his five key principles, uh, policy principles, as to why he's running for district attorney. Uh, the first principle is uh, implementing progressive policies. Uh, I, I'm just curious about what does that mean? What does implementing progressive policies mean to you, Terry? Well, to me, Bob, what it means is that, you know, having been a prosecutor for 30 years, we know that about 80% of all crimes are nonviolent property crimes. So every time you hear about a shooting or a stabbing, there are 15 other non nonviolent property crimes being committed. So the majority of what we see are those crimes. And I think that those are the crimes that we have got to be a lot smarter in the way we prosecute them. Uh, we can do a much better job of keeping people out of the system. And uh, there are a lot of people that many of these crimes uh, are, are born from poverty, uh, some mental illness, some combination of mental illness and substance abuse. And those are, those are individuals that we can come in and uh, try to assist them in getting on the right track. And we can do that. So in other words, everybody who uh, commits a nonviolent crime should not necessarily go through the criminal justice system. I'm Correct. hearing you correctly. Now, the... the, the uh, Second principle, uh, policy principle, is ensuring the safety of the community from violent criminals. Okay, yes. how do you intend to do that? Well, just as I said, 80% of the crime is nonviolent property crimes. About 20% of the crime is violent crime. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those are the crimes that when the public uh, sees someone has been shot, someone has been murdered, it has an impact on the whole community. Mm -hmm. People simply don't feel safe when they see that people are being shot and killed. And what I will do with the Crime Strategies Unit is direct the resources of the District Attorney's Office. Now, now when you talk about Crime Strategies Unit, what, what, what does that mean? What that means is that we are going to create a unit of veteran prosecutors who will focus on that 20% of individuals that are committing the majority of violent crime. And this is something new, is that That's right? Something completely new. And we will, it will be an intelligence driven uh, unit that will uh, analyze data uh, and have a cooperative relationship with law enforcement where we are focusing on the individuals that are committing the most violent crimes in the city. Okay. And we're going to get those individuals off the street. Well, I certainly hope so, because uh, at the moment, we're having, it uh, seems like, a, uh, an epidemic of Absolutely. crimes, of violent crimes, uh, right here in Alameda County. Absolutely. Uh, transparency in the district attorney's office, uh, what, does this, what does that mean? Well, it's important, Bob, because, you know, most of the times when I'm out in the community, and I tell people I'm a prosecutor, I can see the look on their face. That they have, many times they don't even know what a prosecutor is. They don't really know what I do. And I think that we have to do a better job of explaining what our role is in the community and how we come to the decisions that we make so that they can have greater confidence in the whole criminal justice system. Because the reality is, particularly in communities of color, uh, black and brown communities, there is not a lot of trust in the criminal justice system. And so we think that it's important that we are transparent about our decision making so that they see that it's a fair process. And how do you get people to see that it's a fair process? Well, is it education or what? It is education. It is, there are a lot of community groups uh, that meet on uh, a monthly basis in many of the communities. It's making appearances at those community meetings and answering whatever questions they have about the criminal justice system. I attend many of the NCPC meetings in Oakland. What's NCPC? What's NCPC? The, that's where the different districts of Oakland, uh, the communities of that particular district, 
meet on a uh, monthly basis and they discuss the issues of the neighborhood. Okay. And uh, I've gone to numerous NCPC meetings and they all, many of them ask the same question. They say, we have, we have one or two homeless people in the neighborhood. They're causing all kinds of problems. We don't necessarily want them to be arrested, but we want the problem addressed. Or we have the family that stays up all night playing loud music, cars going up and down the street. We want those that situation addressed. We have the sideshows that show up out of nowhere. We want that situation addressed. So that's where you can come. Well, up. all I can say, the, sh- the sideshow has been going on for a long time. And if you can resolve that issue, then uh, I think everybody ought to be voting for you. Uh, we're going to have to uh, go to break. And-, and when we come back, we want to talk for a-, a few moments about uh, implicit bias. And then we're going to uh, uh, talk generally about uh, why uh, people should vote for you for district attorney. Uh, Don't touch that remote. We will be right back with All About Community again. My name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host. And my guest is Terry Wiley, candidate for Alameda County District Attorney. We'll be right back. 